Hey everybody, it's Chad with Nobody Else's Auto. Standing here with a good friend Doug Prey at the Auburn Court Duesenberg factory, checking out some of his parts. Obviously, you know I sell a lot of parts. Doug's got a lot of parts. And if you've got an Auburn or a Cord, this is the this is the guy. He's got the parts, and that's what we're checking out. And we're back in his parts department, and it's just everywhere. I mean, differentials. Yeah, and on the original racks they sat on in Auburn, Indiana in the 1920s and 30s. So when you move the factory, this is the rack that yeah. came with it, and yeah. you put it right back on it. Yeah. Now, when we bought the factory, we got all the parts, but you, we got, we didn't get any tooling. Most of the tooling had gone to scrap during World War II. But we got, uh, we got some of it. We got all the original drawings and draftings, stuff which are, are really nice. And, uh, and as much history as there was, and then every single part and, and all the parts bins and, and then all the current owners of Auburn's and Cords in the country at the time. So we just moved the whole factory here, started restoring cars and selling parts, and here we are 61 years later <laughs> still doing it. And this just goes on down through here. Yeah, this, this would be the, the mirror side of uh, out front where we build the cars. And so this is... Uh, <clears throat> Like these wheel racks came again out of Auburn, Indiana. And some of the wheels, some of the wood wheels there are new old stock. They've never ever been on a car. And of course, a lot of these wheels are old wheels that, that are rare and we've obtained. And if somebody needs a particular wheel, hopefully we can we can help them out with it. But of course, this stuff's not made anymore. A lot of this we're reorganizing right now. I believe it's not hard to organize this stuff. But uh, right in the middle of a project, of identifying and all these pull bins with the nuts and bolts and screws. Um, we spent a lot of time back here and we've marked and identified every one of them and put them in the computer. But you can come back here and see, you know, there may be a thousand of them in there. So the rod bolts, you know, manifold stud bolts, uh, uh, all different kinds of chrome trim bolts. And but just like they were in 1930, and that's the way the factory had them. And that's the way we got them. So what we're trying to do is totally reorganize this right now. That's why it's kind of such a mess. Uh, headlights, tons of headlights. Yeah, and do we manufacture the new headlights, which are some spinnies there, then I buy up any old headlight I can find. And then things like we make brand new Auburn heads. So we, you know, we actually produce brand new ones because heads are always a problem. With aluminum heads on a cast iron block, they tend to ha have electrolysis and they go bad. So we manufacture a, a new heads. And, and then I buy up like a swap meet, two speed rear ends. You know, if you need a part, you need to rebuild one. That you've got it. Uh, the V12 engines, these are actually out of America and France, but the blocks are the same. And some of the internal parts, the camshafts and stuff are the same. And you can buy it in the French engine sometimes pretty cheap. And a V12 Auburn engine is very expensive. Uh, so uh, this area, we're, we're, again, we're kind of reorganizing here. This is a, a part of a project car. But you can see, like, all the differentials and ring and pinions. I've got probably 200 ring and pinions from uh, original cars. And then everything up to oil pans and gas tanks. And so, uh, and believe it or not, we know we're, most of it is something else we could point out i guess over here is that the secret room secret room yeah the secret room is uh if you look right here you can't really see it behind these shelves but this was the secret room where the they built it temporarily <clears throat> built the very first new court in uh 1965 and when they built it so the very first court was built in this little room uh on that table that's out in front of the building and the number one car that uh our friend Felix told the story about mm -hmm. we're going to build that car around that engine on that table. And so it was all created right it there. It all happened right there, right, right there in that room. Right kind room. of in the back corner of the parts department, not out in the yeah. shop, no. not by the showroom, yeah. not by the it office. All sealed, all get his drafting table in there, and they built the car. I think there were six of them building it. And, uh, they built it and debuted it uh, at the Tulsa Civic Center, and it was on the cover of all these magazines, and it was just it was really a big deal of time. It all happened and we call it the secret room because nobody got to see it until it was finished and debuted. So yeah, if you, if you get the books and you read about the secret room, yeah, there's the secret room, yeah, it still exists. Yeah, you'll see all the pictures of it in, in a heyday when a car was being built. And there's even one picture in there of dad 
sitting on it when it's finished and the car is off of there and he's sitting there just staring at an empty table after you know creating it all and like it's <laughs> done it's over with we did it you know it's finished and then that room never got used again it, it, we store stuff in it we got equipment stored in it right now we kind of set up one time about a little museum but we're we're needing the space now yeah and so we're setting up some uh, machine shop equipment but, but kind of a neat piece of history when you get the books and you read about your dad yeah and because that was kind of a big deal, the yeah. secret room. I mean, because that car was, you know, they didn't want the secrets out until mm -hmm. yeah. the car was debuted. Well, I know. And then you'll read in the book, too, you probably read about, you know, it was in 66 that the Tornado came out. And Tornado was claimed to fame as the first production front wheel drive car in America after World War II, but it wasn't. It was the little cord, and the Tornado is an exact duplicate of Glenn Prague's engineering and design. And we know it because we've had people take the, the blow up of the entire differential unit of a Tornado and put it next to Dad's that he did on the Corvair. It's just bigger, same thing. <laughs> and why we think what happened, US rubber had one of the cords and it disappeared off of their parking lot. And they called and said the cord's been stolen. And so everybody was trying to figure out, you know, what, what do we do about it? And it was one of the first prototypes. And I think they said it was seven days later, it showed back up in the exact parking space. And we went up there and picked it up and the whole thing had been totally disassembled and put back together. You could see where it had all been taken. So they were, somebody was studying the, the U-joint system and the well, CD shaft system. Look at, look at a torn arm. <clears throat> Everything from the design on the hood, the wheel design, the front wheel U-joint, is cord. I mean, a torn auto was really a mass-produced modern-day cord, and uh, and it all started in that secret right room. Right there in that little secret, that secret room. room. Yeah. <laughs> so definitely check out the book, acdfactory.com. You can get them on there. Um, we showed we showed you some of the other videos. You do have a very nice hardback coffee table book, but that one you're about out of down to the last couple of handfuls of that. The other regular paperback you've got plenty of. Be sure to check those out, give them a shout, get a copy of those ordered. And uh, we're going to wrap this one up and head upstairs here in a minute and show you some more parts. There's more parts, but you are the factory. That's right. So you've got lots of parts. So if you're on Facebook, please share this video with your friends. Invite them to come like, out, like the page. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Check out all my other videos. Check out all the great stuff that we've done here and all the super awesome things that are going on at the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Factory in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. And check them out at acdfactory.com. Keep up with what they've got going on here. They can sell you parts. They can restore your car. They can do anything you need to do on these things. It's absolutely amazing. So be sure to check them out. Stay tuned. Thank you for your time today. No it's been an amazing time. we got more parts to look at. We're going to shoot some, a few more videos yet today. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.